Hello, everybody. Wolf Fang here. Happy Friday. It is November the 10th. Happy birthday to the Marine Corps. Hoorah! So, I'm going to say it right off the bat. This is not fear porn. But I am going to share... Uh, I saw an article the other day, something about Russia moving the doomsday clock. So, today at work, I'm thinking... Okay, let me let me look into this doomsday clock. I think most of us know what it's what it is. So I did find this article. So it says, <clears throat> and this actually was January twenty fourth. Uh, doomsday clock moves to ninety seconds to midnight, sing signaling more peril than ever. The world is closer to uh, catastrophe than ever. The doomsday clock, the metaphorical measure of challenges to humanity, was reset to 90 seconds before midnight on Tuesday. The Science and Security Board of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists said the move the closest to widespread calamity humanity has ever been judged to be was largely through not excessively due to the war in Ukraine. The scientific body evaluates the clock each January. This is the first full update since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine began last February triggering a war in Europe and a new flood of refugees. The clock created a stir when it was set to 100 seconds to midnight in 2020. The first time the famous clock had gone down to seconds rather than minutes. At the time, the bulletin's scientists said we were at Doom's doorstep. It remained at 100 seconds to midnight in 2021 and 2022. The scientists behind the Doomsday Clock use it to alert humanity to threats from within. The perils we face from our own technology, particularly through nuclear war, global climate change, and biotechnology. Of the new update, Mary Robinson, former UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, said, The doomsday clock is sounding an alarm for the whole of humanity. We are on the brink of... Perceps, Perceptacy? You have to excuse me. But our leaders are not acting at sufficient speed or scale to secure a peaceful and livable planet. Much of Tuesday's announcement focused on Russia and President Vladimir Putin's threat to use nuclear weapons and his refusal to accept anything other than victory in Ukraine. Even if nuclear use is avoided in Ukraine, said Steve Fetter, dean of the graduate school and professor of public policy at the University of Maryland, the war has challenged the nuclear order, the system of arguments and understanding that have been constructed over six decades to limit the dangers of nuclear weapons. Fetter also noted that the U.S., Russia, and China are working to modernize their arsenals. The Chicago-based Bulletin was founded in 1945 by Albert Einstein and scientists who helped develop the first atomic weapons in the Manhattan Project. Over the years, its members have included dozens of noble literature it's not literature anyway so that's the doomsday clock it has been moved to 90 seconds and that was a another article that i saw yesterday because it said something about uh putin and russia and i'm thinking what do they have to do with it but 
but uh, actually, I was looking uh, for like the history. Who who made the Doomsday Clock? How did how did it come? But uh, maybe I'll look a little deeper into it. But as far as now with the Doomsday Clock, it is set at ninety seconds. So party on. <laughs> Uh, like I said, this isn't, I'm not doing a fear porn. I do not do fear porn. Uh, I was, you know, I saw something last night when I was going through stuff. And a uh, doomsday article caught my eye and I looked at it and it had to do with Russia and Putin. And I'm like, okay, what's going on there? So I found this article. Maybe I'll look into it deeper. I don't know, but. I'm, I'm pretty sure most of, most of you guys out there, guys and gals, uh, maybe or maybe not are familiar with the Doomsday Clock. But as of today, uh, November the 10th, it is set at 90 seconds. So uh, I don't know if Hudson Valley or... Uh, <laughs> Livingston man watch my videos, but maybe they can throw that in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throw that in there. Uh, we all going to die Wednesday. So I'm, I'm just sharing shit, you know. But share this video, like this video, throw it out the window, do whatever you want with it. Doesn't matter. This is Wolf Fang. Happy Friday. Oh, and Veterans Day. Salute. Uh, to all the veterans, that's tomorrow, and I I did a video, a short video at lunchtime uh, for the happy birthday to the Marine Corps, and I also saw that uh, Mad Shed did one too. So salute! I should have a cap on, but but anyway, this is Wolf Fang. I hope everybody has a, a great Friday evening and a great weekend. So I'll find something else to chat about, and I'll chat with you all later. Bye.